All right, get out your King James Bibles and turn to the book of Philippians, chapter 2. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Philippians, chapter 2, verse 1. If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. In other words, put other people before yourself. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who? Who? Christ Jesus. Who? Being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Do you know the modern Bible translations totally change this and make it so that Jesus was not God in the flesh? They totally change this verse, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Yeshua HaMashiach? No. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Is Jesus Christ the Lord? Is the day of the Lord the day of Christ? Um, unless you want to deny Philippians chapter 2 and verse 11 that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's all you got to do, the day of Christ and the day of the Lord, two different things, right? But Paul writes, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God. Now, do you know that we don't become sons of God until we're born again of the Holy Spirit? That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ. Day of the Lord, day of Christ, right? Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, 
that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timotheus shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. But ye know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father, he hath served me, he hath served with me in the gospel. Him therefore I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I, my, that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I supposed it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all and was full of heaviness, because that ye had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him therefore the more carefully, that when ye see him again, ye may rejoice that I may be the less sorrowful. Rejo uh, receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death not regarding his life, to supply your lack of service toward me. And that's the end of Philippians chapter 2, the day of Christ. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. And that's Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Amen.